solar eclipses have always provided teachable moments. Two and a half millennia ago, a solar eclipse that had been predicted by the Greek philosopher Thales stopped a battle between the Medes and the Lydians. More recently, Tintin used an eclipse to escape from a South American tribe. Back in the real world, in 1919, Arthur Eddington travelled to the equatorial island of Principe to record a total eclipse and demonstrate that, in accordance with Einstein's general theory of relativity, the light from stars is bent by the mass of the Sun. An English astronomer proving the theory of a German physicist just a few months after the end of the First World War is one of the great examples of how science truly is a global enterprise. And this same idea that science is a unifying force that can bring together people from different parts of the world is the basis of a project I'm running next year with Tadulako University in Indonesia. The theme of the project is the solar eclipse of March the 9th, 2016, which will be a partial eclipse across a large area of Asia and Australia, and a total eclipse in some parts of Indonesia. We're running a series of global communication and science workshops that mix astronomy and English language skills and connect university students in Indonesia and Japan online for cross-border teamworking activities, including read-throughs of science fiction movies. The project is being sponsored by Garuda Indonesia. For more info, please visit tensentences.com.